On December 17, 2015, the New Orleans City Council voted 6-1 to one to remove four Confederate monuments. The Liberty Monument, the Jefferson Davis Monument, the PGT Bureau Card Monument, and the Robert E. Lee Monument. Most thought this was the final say in getting these monuments to white supremacy removed, but the struggle was far from over. Here's a brief update on what's been happening. Within hours of the city council vote on December 17, 2015, a local chapter of the Sons of Confederate Veterans and several other preservationist groups filed a lawsuit against the city of New Orleans in federal district court. The lawsuit requests a permanent injunction to block the city's removal of the monuments entirely, as well as a preliminary injunction until the plaintiff's case is resolved in courts. Taken down Nola, while not a party of the lawsuit, obtains permission to file an amicus brief arguing for the removal of the monuments. January 14, 2016. The district court holds a hearing in which both parties argue whether the preliminary injunction should be granted. January 26, 2016. U.S. District Court Judge Carl Barbier denies the plaintiff's request for a preliminary injunction allowing the city to move forward with its plans to remove the monuments. Later in February 2016, the plaintiffs give notice that they will appeal the district court's denial of a preliminary injunction. The case is now pending in two courts, the U.S. District Court and the U.S. Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. March 23, 2016, the city makes a counterclaim against the plaintiffs in district court, arguing that the removal of the Liberty Place Monument does not violate a consent order from 1991. March 25, 2016, three George W. Bush appointed judges of the Fifth Circuit Court grant a preliminary injunction to the plaintiffs. The Fifth Circuit Court has tentatively scheduled a hearing on the appeal of the preliminary injunction for September 28, 2016. The Fifth Circuit Court's ruling could ultimately impact District Court Judge Barbier's overall decision on the pending lawsuit. However, it is unlikely that we will get a decision from Judge Barbier in the near future. The District Court has yet to decide when it will actually consider the motions for summary judgment that could ultimately dispose of the case. If the motions are granted and the city wins its counterclaim, then the lawsuit will be dismissed in full and the city can move forward with removal of the monuments. If any of the monuments are denied, the lawsuit may be allowed to go to trial unless the parties reach a settlement.